In CTF, when neither team can capture enough flags to win within the time limit, the game defaults to a stalemate. On CP maps, if neither team manages to cap the last point in time, it also ends in a stalemate. So stalemates only occur when both teams fail at the objective, but shouldn't it be possible to cause a stalemate when both teams accomplish their objective? If we have two players, both holding the intel, and they capture it at the exact same time, both teams have won. So, a draw. Or, if we're on a payload race map, and both teams' carts arrive at the final point simultaneously, that's also a draw, isn't it? So does TF2 have a special condition where both teams are granted a victory? For CTF, there's an extremely simple answer. Red team will always win, without exception. Changing the order the bots are spawned doesn't matter. And even if I was to cap her on blue, red would still always win. The game actually even acknowledges that I got the final capture. My name is right there, yet I still lost. Out of curiosity, I tested this for 100 rounds and blue still never won once. Quick fun fact. There's a brief period of time between the round officially ending and when the final capture is made where you can bend reality. In this tiny pocket of time, the game continues to function as normal, meaning that you can pick up the intel. But more importantly, you can also still cap it. So if you're blue and you're doomed to lose to red because of the tied scores, it's possible to quickly pick up their intel and cap it in the little time before the game officially ends, changing the future for blue to win instead. This is also possible on red, so you can victory lap them I guess. As for Payload Race, what happens when the two cards reach the end at the same time? I tested this in two different ways and got two different answers. If it's between two bots, the game picks one of them to favor, then grants them all of the wins. The favored bot seems to always be whichever one joined last. But we can go even further. We can set the Payload cards to move on its own. Without any human intervention, the game picks blue. Only. That's it. So in summary, red always wins on CTF, but blue basically always wins payload race. This uh, uh, set of um, technologies that we've developed are a waste of time, right? right? 